Hey guys, it's the Gardening Moose here from Garden Gateway and I uh, just wanted to share with you uh, the project I've been working on here this morning. Um, we've taken this area right here and uh, we're turning it into a strawberry patch. Uh, I've got a 12 year old son that's wanted strawberries for several years and we have all kinds of blackberries and raspberries and all kinds of ve vegetables and produce but the one thing he really wants is strawberries and uh, we haven't gotten to it yet so uh, it was time. Um, and so uh, we took this patch, weeded it out this morning, laid it out, and then uh, hauled in a whole bunch of uh, compost. Um, I talked a little bit about uh, the compost that I'm using last week in a video that I was doing. Um, but this is a uh, planting mix, basically. So this is a mix of steer manure. Um, it's a nice, uh, well-aged steer manure. It's got a little bit of bark product in there. It's got quite a bit of sphagnum peat moss, and then it's got ute light, which is the white pumice part of the soil, uh, which adds uh, good drainage to the soil. Um, and then as well, it's got uh, azomite in it, which uh, is a uh, full mineral complement. Uh, azomite stands for everything from A to Z in the way of minerals, and is a naturally mined uh, substance right here in Utah, and adds a ton of minerals to the soil and does a great job. So. What I was looking for here is I want to use raised beds for my strawberries. I like to get uh, uh, raised beds so that moisture drains uh, down through the soil very well and so that the plants have somewhere to kind of grow down in between there. And then as well, uh, you can kind of see that I've used weed barrier in between my rows. Um, now those of you who have been watching me for a while or talk to me at the uh, store know that I am not a fan of weed barrier. I don't use it a lot. Um, but in this situation, this area is full of uh, morning glory um, or bindweed. Um, we've had a ton of it in here for years. We've sprayed it uh, for a while to try to kill it off. Uh, but of course, that's uh, basically impossible. Um, and so uh, I'm going to use the weed barrier for a year to keep the weeds uh, down and out. And then eventually, I'll pull that weed barrier up and go to a mulch in between the rows. Um, so anyways, I'm planting three different uh, varieties of strawberries here. I'm doing uh, some Quinaults, um, I'm doing some Fort Laramies, and some Seascapes. Um, and uh, when I'm doing this, I'm just going to plant these in a single straight row. We'll grow this as a, as a perennial crop for three to four years before we tear them out and replace them. Um, and I'm going to space them on a 12 inch spacing and they'll have plenty of room to fill in here. Um, just a neat trick that I like to use. Um, if you guys uh, have a little hand trowel like this, this is a nice Corona metal one. Um, it happens to be 12 inches long, and so I don't have to worry about running a tape measure. I can just use my shovel um, as I go. And so I'm going to take these uh, out of their pots. And just dig a little hole here. And as you can see, that soil is pretty soft, pretty easy digging. Um, break up the bottom of my pots just to kind of loosen up the roots there. And in we go. And then as well, with first year plants like this, it's always best if you come in and you remove all of these flowers off of the plants. Um, we really are not wanting to uh, encourage first year strawberries. Um, on the plants, we really want the plants to focus on putting down good root systems and developing into uh, nice sized plants and getting a good start. And so I'm going to go through, I'm going to pull all the flowers off of these, plant them all, um, get my plants all spaced out, and then I'll show you what I'm done and uh, come back and show you as well. We're going to hook this all up on a drip system and so I'll uh, come through and show you how I'm going to do that. Have a great day guys. Hey guys, it's the Gardening Moose here from Garden Gateway again. And uh, earlier I showed you uh, th that uh, we were working on planting this strawberry project. And uh, now I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, here it is planted. Um, three different varieties that I've got in there. And uh, it's all put into that nice uh, planting mix that I used. Um, and they're going to get off to a good start. And now I just want to take a minute and uh, show you guys um, I'm going to hook up a simple drip system to this. I'm actually going to tie it into the drip system that is currently watering my uh, raspberries and my blackberries. And so I'm going to take you right up here and uh, show you what I'm doing. So I've already come through in order to get this weed barrier down and get my beds in. I uh, went ahead and cut this line 
This runs from my main valve up front and feeds my raspberries in the back. And uh, this is fairly simple. So I've taken already and run um, my half inch distribution tube. This is just a flexible poly pipe um, that you can punch holes into and hook up drippers to. Um, and uh, I will tell you right off the bat that um, you can find uh, all of this drip supply stuff at any of your local sprinkler uh, supply stores. Um, uh, your hardware stores will have it as well, but remember if you shop uh, at local at your small businesses and support them, more of your money stays here locally in your community. Um, and so uh, I've picked up all the parts that I'm going to need. I'll show you them as I'm going. Um, but for this, I'm going to use just a compression T in order to cut this new line in here that's going to feed the water to my uh, strawberries. And so I'm just going to take that. And it's real simple. These connections are just press and fit. Um, and so I'm just going to slide it on there, press it on. I'm going to slide my original line that was feeding my raspberries and strawberries. And then I'm going to take my new line, my new half inch distribution line, and press it in there like that. And uh, you're good to go. A lot of people are afraid of drip systems, but I promise you that they're very simple and they're easy to do. Most of this stuff is compression fittings. It doesn't take a, a master's degree. You don't have to be a genius to be able to figure this stuff out, okay? So I'm gonna take you to the other end of this line. As you can see, it runs across the heading of all of my rows there. And I'm just gonna come over here to the end. And I'm just gonna take a pipe cutting tool. Um, you can do this with scissors. The half inch pipe's a little bit uh, stiffer than most scissors would like so you would want to have a good pair so this is just a simple pipe cutting tool i'm just going to take my half inch i'm going to cut it right here past my row and then i'm just going to take a compression coupler which this can actually screw off so if you want to drain the water out of your lines at the end you can open them or at the end of the season you can open that up and drain the water out and same thing as with the t uh, this is just a compression fitting so all I'm going to do is take it, push it on there, and we're good. And then I'm going to stake this line down. Just so that it doesn't get pulled out of the ground there. And so that, bit, that line right there is just distributing the water to the head of the row. And then I'm going to show you the drip line that I'm going to use and hook up to it that's actually going to let the water out to the strawberries. So we're gonna go back over here. And I'm using this quarter inch drip tubing. If you take a close look at this, um, you can see that there's uh, drippers that are just built into the line and these are spaced every foot, which is actually, actually perfect for these strawberries. Um, because that's how far apart I space my plants and so what happens is, is as your water runs through these tubes These built-in drippers just allow the water to come out uh, down the line So we're gonna take this up there and I'm gonna show you how I hook it up So the first thing is I'm gonna use a hole punch um, like I said anybody that sells the drip irrigation supplies, they'll have all of these tools and all the parts that you need uh, to do this. Basically all the hole punch does is literally what its name is implied for. You're just gonna take it, hold your half inch drip tube, and you're just gonna push a hole in to the tube. So now I've got a hole in there where I can connect this to. And then I'm gonna take this little tiny part right here. This is just a kind of hard to see but it's just a quarter inch coupler um, it's perfect for this little quarter inch tubing and it's the same thing you just press these parts all together these ones actually just go inside the line um, so I'm gonna press it in there I'm gonna put my first one in here and I made sure I'd already cut this so that my first dripper is gonna line up right with my strawberry plants and that way as I go down the row my drippers are right uh, uh, alongside each of the strawberries so I'm just gonna put that in 
and then it's really simple. Uh, if you want to, you can come through with uh, weed barrier stakes, or they make smaller little stakes that you can use for drip tubing, and uh, just stake down your line so it doesn't go anywhere. So we're just going to pull this line all the way down the row of strawberries. I'm going to put a couple of stakes in there so that this stays right at the top of my row. And then when I get down here to the end, um, the biggest thing is I want to make sure that I uh, have a dripper right next to this last plant, um, which I do. It's just right there. Um, like I said, they should line up nicely where they're spaced on a one foot thing. This quarter inch tubing. Nope, oh, sorry guys, I forgot my scissors. So this quarter inch tubing right here, um, you can cut with a pair of scissors, it's real easy. I'm gonna use the same pipe cutting tool because that's what I have with me. I'm just gonna cut it. And then I'm just going to use an end cap or a plug for the quarter inch line. It's just a tiny little piece that goes in there and uh, stops the water from coming out any further. So same thing, you just push that in. Just like that. And uh, man, you're set. Um, I'll go through and stake this line uh, so that it stays a little bit closer to all of my strawberries. Um, but other than that, that's how I'm going to run the water to them. And then uh, my, this is run on a sprinkler clock, uh, like I said, with my uh, existing raspberries and blackberries. Um, and so uh, it'll just go ahead and water all of that together. So anyways, guys, that's just a little bit on how I'm planting my strawberries. How I'm hooking up the drip system to them. Um, appreciate you watching and uh, have a great day.